yes please these antigens are expressed on surface of the antigen presenting cellular macrophage this is the antigen and this is the class 2 molecule now macrophage through the tissue fluid will drain into lymph nodes through the lymphatics in the lymph node it will go to different t cells to every t cell this antigen presenting macrophage will present the antigen and try to fit the antigen to the different t cells tcrs until it will find one t cell where antigen can be yes antigen can be recognized by tcr as soon as antigen is recognized by the tcr right then cd4 molecules of the t cells uh, confirm the presence of class 2 molecule once tcr and cd4 both are properly occupied through the cd3 signaling system through multi molecular pathway they give signals to the nucleus at the same time there is additional stimulation for example macrophage release into leukin 1 they also give extra stimulation moreover specially b7 from the macrophage interact with the cd28 of the t cell and that also gives signal to the nucleus the genetic nuclear machinery is activated specially two genes are activated in the this selected clone of t cells number one the gene which lead to secretion of interleukin 2 molecule and number two gene which lead to expression of interleukin 2 receptors so, so secreted interleukin 2 molecule act on the same cells receptor it's like auto stimulation even cells can do auto stimulation right so this auto stimulatory pathway is called autocrine pathway this is called autocrine right so interleukin 2 through an autocrine pathway is coming out of the selected t cell and keep on acting on the same cell right and then interleukin 2 receptors when they are activated by the interleukin 2 molecules they give signal to the signals back to the nucleus to activate the genes which orchestrate the process of mitosis and this particular lymphocyte which was previously selected now it undergo proliferation right and it proliferate a lot or it undergoes mitotic uh, repeated mitosis and in this way this lymphocyte due to mitotic deviance has an expanded clone is that right any question up to this let's have a break now up to now we have just discussed the how the macrophage take the antigen process the antigen with class 2 molecule then present the antigen along with the class 2 molecules to appropriate T cell appropriate T cell is a T cell which has such TCR which could recognize this specific antigen and this T cell has CD4 molecule which will confirm that class 2 molecule is present with the antigen or not once TCR and CD4 are properly occupied they stimulate CD3 molecule which through multiple molecules give signals to the nucleus of the T cell this is a selected T cell meanwhile macrophage also releases interleukin 1 right and which is stimulating the interleukin 1 receptors on the T cells which also stimulate the nuclear machinery of the lymphocyte moreover B7 molecule which are expressed on the surface of macrophages interact with the CD28 and also give signals to the nuclear machinery this is called the first signal and this is called the second signal or we call this is primary stimulation of T cell and this one is co-stimulation of the T cell once a T cell has been properly selected and pri properly co-stimulated then multiple genes are activated into t within the T cells the first of all the group of genes which is activated they are concerned with interleukin 2 one gene start making such messenger RNA which will be translated into interleukin 2 and these interleukin 2 molecules are thrown out of the T lymphocyte but at the same time another gene is expressed and that make gives order to make such proteins which are actually interleukin 2 receptors so interleukin 2 receptors are also these receptors are also expressed on the surface of the selected T cell so interleukin 2 which is secreted auto act in an autocrine fashion on the interleukin 2 receptors which give signal to the nuclear machinery back and then nuclear machinery activate mitotic mechanisms and this selected lymphocyte repeatedly undergo mitotic signals and mitotic activity and it makes clonal expansion 
Is that right? Let's stop the story here. We we'll talk about now another, for a while we we'll stop the story here. We we'll link the story, first story with the second story later. Now we start the second story. Have you heard of the B lymphocytes? Right? Let's see meanwhile how the B lymphocytes are activated. Right? Do you remember your uh, irresponsible friend neutrophil? What it was doing? It was taking the antigens and throwing into circulation, circulation though not into tissue fluid. And those uh, anti free antigens through the tissue fluid passing through the lymphatics were going to the lymph node. Even free antigens are not wasted. B cells love to react with free antigens. Now let's see. What are B lymphocytes? B lymphocytes are those lymphocytes which mature into bursa fibrations in the bird or equivalent of, equivalent of bursa fibrations in human. In human beings, equivalent, equivalent organ for bursa fibrations is our bone marrow. So B lymphocytes mature into bone marrow, then they come into circulation and some of them settle into lymph nodes. Now, let's suppose these are 5 B lymphocytes. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are 5 different B lymphocytes. Now, listen carefully. Every B cell is genetically pre-programmed to produce a unique type of antibody against only a unique antigen. Again, listen carefully. It's worth revising. Every B cell is genetically pre-programmed to produce a unique type of antibody which will only act with a specific type of antigen. It means that different B cells, B lymphocytes are pre-programmed for the producing antibodies against same antigens or different antigens. <coughs> Again, listen, you are confused. Listen. For example, there are, okay, come here. This is our lymphocyte. Yes, you also come. I need four, five B lymphocyte. This is one B lymphocyte. This is second B lymphocyte. There's a third lymphocyte. B lymphocyte and here is, yes, you go there. This is five. These are five B lymphocytes. Now, what every lymphocyte is doing? Every lymphocyte is expressing the sample of the antibody which it can made. Don't look at my head, it's bad. <laughs> look at my hand, right? Now, actually every B cell is pre-programmed. The nuclear machinery of this cell is already pre-programmed to make a unique type of antibody. Nuclear machinery of this B cell is pre-programmed to make a different type of antibody. And we have millions and millions of B cells which have a capacity to produce slightly different antibodies against different antigens. Is that right? Now listen carefully. For example, this B cell is pre-programmed to make anti-star antibodies. This B cell is pre-programmed to make antibodies which are anti-moon antibodies. This B cell is pre-programmed genetically to make anti-sun antibodies. And this B cell is pre-programmed to make anti-dog antibodies. <laughs> is that right? If dog, dog never comes, this B cell will never work. But if dog again and again comes, it will make again and again anti-dog anti antibodies. You understand what I really mean by this? Different B cells are pre-programmed to...